In the late 1970s, a band emerged from the vibrant post-punk scene in Northampton, England that would leave an indelible mark on the world of music. Bauhaus, named after the influential German art movement, pushed the boundaries of rock and post-punk, ushering in a new era of dark, atmospheric music. With their haunting vocals, gloomy lyrics, and experimental soundscapes, Bauhaus became pioneers of gothic rock influencing generations of musicians and carving out a lasting legacy in the alternative music landscape. Bauhaus was formed in 1978 by Peter Murphy, vocals, Daniel Ash, guitar, David J, bass, and Kevin Haskins, drums. Their distinct sound drew inspiration from punk, glam rock, and experimental art rock, creating a sonic palette that defied categorization. Their early performances in small clubs garnered a dedicated local following, attracting the attention of music enthusiasts seeking something different from the mainstream. In 1979, Bauhaus released their debut single, Bela Lugosi's Dead. The nine-minute opus became an underground hit and is considered one of the earliest and most influential gothic rock songs. Its eerie atmosphere propelled by a haunting bass line and Peter Murphy's haunting vocals set the stage for Bauhaus's unique musical identity. Bauhaus's debut album, In the Flat Field, in 1980, expanded upon the foundation laid by Bela Lugosi's Dead. The album featured a blend of dark, brooding tracks, including Dark Entries, Saint Vitus Dance, and iconic Double Dare. The band's ability to conjure an ominous, otherworldly atmosphere through their music solidified their position as pioneers of the gothic rock genre. The band's distinctive style extended beyond their music. Their image and stage presence also played a significant role in shaping their gothic identity. Peter Murphy's unique fashion sense with his pale complexion, slick back hair, and intense gaze became synonymous with the gothic subculture. Bauhaus's second album, Mask, in 1981, continued their exploration of dark and atmospheric soundscapes. Tracks like Kick in the Eye and The Passion of Lovers showcased the band's evolving musical depth and lyrical prowess. The album's commercial success and critical acclaim brought Bauhaus into the spotlight, gaining them recognition beyond the underground scene. Their subsequent albums, The Sky's Gone Out, 1982, and Burning from the Inside, 1983, further demonstrated Bauhaus's versatility incorporating elements of funk and avant-garde experimentation. However, creative tensions within the band led to their eventual disillusionment in 1983. Although Bauhaus disbanded in the mid-80s, their legacy endured through the solo careers of its members and the profound influences that they had on alternative music landscape. Peter Murphy and Daniel Ash continued to create music, with Murphy releasing a successful solo career and Ash forming the band Love and Rockets. Bauhaus influence can be heard in countless bands and artists who embrace the gothic and post-punk genres. Their impact on alternative music, particularly in the realm of gothic rock, is immeasurable. Bands like The Cure, Susie and the Banshees, Nine Inch Nails cited Bauhaus as a significant influence on their sound and aesthetics. In 1998, Bauhaus surprised fans with a reunion and subsequent tour. Their reunion reignited interest in the band, leading to new generations of fans discovering their music. They released the album Go Away White in 2008, which marked their first studio album in over two decades. Bauhaus remains an indignant force in the history of music, architects of gothic rock and pioneers of post-punk with their haunting melodies, poetic lyrics, and atmospheric soundscapes. They etched a lasting legacy in the alternative music scene. Their influence on gothic rock and post-punk continues to reverberate through time, ensuring that the enigmatic allure of Bauhaus will endure, captivating new generations of music lovers for years to come.